Good morning. My name is Rebel and I am the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to do a really quick video. I've had a couple of comments the last couple of days on people who are wondering how am I able to do um, work on my listing item specifics and end and do sell similar on so many listings. Most days I'm doing five, 600 a day right now trying to get through all of them. But I am trying to do um, update the item specifics at the same time. And believe it or not, I just learned this a few weeks ago from a friend, um, Kristen, about bulk editing your item specifics, which is different than if you go into eBay and you click on the 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 bullet that says um, all of these listings need updated item specifics. Um, I've been going into the bulk edit feature and it is so much easier and so much faster that I'm able to do, you know, a lot at one time. Now today I'm going to pick 50. I'm going to go to my 50 that are about to end the most recently and I'm going to update the item specifics on the ones that I want to. Now see, I sell a lot of stuffed animals. And when they did these last two updates to categories, they added, the first time they added what animal you're selling. And then this last time they added um, occasion. So most of my item specifics are just those two things I need to add to the stuffed animals. But this works for any and all item specifics. But right now I'm working on them because they are the most. And then when I finally get through all of them, then I'll start going into the, the dishes that need stuff, even though I can't seem to fill in all of them because I don't know dates and all of that stuff. But so I'm going to show you what I'm, how I do the bulk edit for item specifics. Then I end them and then I do sell similar and get them relisted. All right, so if you're new to trying to figure all of this out, the first thing you need to do is go into your active listings. Now, like on my screen here, you can just go to listings and click on active. All right, and then if you're not on the stuff that's ending like today or the soonest, then you need to scroll all the way over here and you click on this button here, time left. Now, I'm to the point where I'm nine days out. Everything that I'm working on right now isn't really going to renew for nine days, but I'm trying to get as many done as possible because I am seeing an increase in sales by doing this. So, you know, I'm going to keep doing it. Now, this first item on my list is an auction, so you need to be careful. Um, I've already got a bid on this, so I need to make sure I do not end this listing when I start doing the others. But this is what I'm doing for the updating of item specifics. I'm going through these and on this screen, it tells you the items that still need item specific updates. And almost all of these are toys. So I'm just clicking on all of these that need to be updated. And I've got, I pulled up 50. You can do 25 at a time. You can do 50, 100 or 200. I've been doing 200 because it's not not everything needs item specifics, but as you can tell here, most of these are just needing one and two things, which is the, what the animal is and what's the occasion. Now, this isn't my normal computer that I work on all day. So I've got those. So then I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and you're gonna go here where it says edit and you only wanna pick the ones that you selected first because all I'm doing right now is updating item specifics and it's gonna pull up the bulk edit. I have 16 I need to do right now. Then you're gonna click on this to make all of them blue. And then go up to the edit field and you're gonna pick item specifics. And then all I'm gonna do is, this is a rabbit. For some reason, it will not auto put in rabbit. So I have been saving that. And then I go to here and I pick all occasion. And that one's done. There's none of that letting it, you know, spin or you have to, 
you know, if you're doing NA or whatever, you have to wait and go down and click on that to make it as a custom. It doesn't do that in this. I mean, this is this fast. This is a monkey and it's gonna auto. And then I just click on all occasion. I'm not gonna be the one who decides what occasion you're buying a plush um, monkey. Luckily, I only have 16 of these, but I mean, do you see how fast this is going? It's, and then I have a lot of these, I've been doing so many that it automatically does bear and dog and some of the other ones. This is one that just needed all occasion. So when I end these and do relist or sell similar, um, these are going to go off of that list. I'm still right at just under 2000 that I still need to update. I contacted eBay once upon a time and asked how important is it to do the recommended item specifics. And all they kept saying back to me was, if you can do it, do it. It helps. You know, because I, you know, I didn't know if I should spend the time. There's others that say it's not worth the time. But I'm of the mind, you know, if it's going to help, then I'm going to keep doing this. So, I mean, this is how easy it is to do these. And if you're into other categories, it pulls up all of those item specifics. And you just go in, fill, 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 save and next, save and next. This is a bear. A sloth. I don't think I see that one as much. I've just got a few more. A rabbit, for some reason occasion rabbit and rabbit oh wait it's already there all occasion so that's it save and close I've done 16 that quick and it's not a whole lot of I have arthritis believe me if I had to do a whole lot of this stuff it, it would be cumbersome to my hands all right, so I'm going to submit changes. So all 16 of those have had their item specifics updated. It's going to bring me back to my original screen of 50. And then what I'm going to do is, again, click on all of these, but I'm going to unclick the doll because she's an option. She's not part of that. So I've got 49 here selected that I am going to end. Now make sure before you end these that you don't have all kinds of stuff in the unsolds that's going to confuse things. But it stays at the top. Like anytime I sell something on another platform, I automatically go into eBay and end it. And then it sits there. And that's how I know to pull it to ship for the other. So I'm going to end these 49. Spin, spin, spin. And then I'm going to go over here to the unsolds. Now, I don't have anything in unsolds right now because I've already shipped everything for today. So I've got 49 items. I'm going to click here. Click on sell similar. Let it populate. There's nothing else in them that I need to change. If you needed to, you could come in at this point. If you wanted to add stuff, change shipping, change if you want it to be in GSP or not, um, any of that stuff. But for now, all I'm doing is submitting. This is the 49 that I'm doing sell similar on. Oop, I missed the button. And then you're back to this screen. Last important step, go in, click on it, and delete them all. And then you just Go back up here, click on actives, and you're back to the, the next, however many you're going to do. Easy peasy. Saves you a whole lot of that spinning and that delay that seems to be in that other screen when you're trying to do these updates. All right, so I hope that helps.